Hey guys, Josh here with Redneck Green Thumb. Sorry it's been such a long time. Um, I was dealing with the computer crash and just family is expanding, everything's changing. So I'm coming at you with a, with a new garden update here for 2023. So first of all here, we'll start with the garden along the house. I have a bunch of cucumbers planted all the way. I have a bunch of cucumbers planted all the way along the house here so they can grow up this trellis. That's Italian broccoli. Those are onions from last year with two cabbages planted in them. There's one right there too. <clears throat> I have, oh, there's a couple more Italian broccoli here. That's a cabbage, that's a cabbage. A couple more cabbages. These are some Brussels sprouts and cabbages that I haven't dealt with. I'm kind of just neglecting them because I have no room left. Same goes for all these peppers. There's like four different kinds of peppers here, but I had no room for them. So, so that's where they sit for now. That's another random little um, cucumber. That one's empty, so that can go back in the bag. That was a... Uh, Roma onions that did not take very well this year. Oh, I guess this should go over here. Over here we have a bunch of um, kohlrabi. They are delicious. They're just another one in the brassica family. It's like, I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's like a really sweet broccoli taste almost. <laughs> Over here we have some yellow onions. That is broccoli, four broccoli here. And then I have a whole bunch more kohlrabi planted up here. So as you can see, I like my brassicas. Over to the raised bed here, I have uh, Roma tomatoes coming up in these pots here. A couple of them are doing a little better than others. In the raised bed we have uh, one, two, three, no, oh, one, two, three, four different kinds of uh, kale. And also a companion plant for them is uh, onions again. These ones are red onions, so, and that's a cauliflower over there in the corner. This right here is a black walnut tree. Two little oak trees. Two little spruce trees. This is my bucket of asparagus from last year. And just so happens a little bit of dill is coming up in, in the same container. I must have put some, uh, some soil in there to level it up. And it had some seeds in it, so that's a bonus. More kale, this is curly. Um, Curly blue kale, red Russian kale, dino kale. We have three uh, eggplants here. Brussels sprouts, because I love my Brussels sprouts. More cabbage, because I'm getting right into making um, sauerkraut. It's delicious, I love it. These are a couple little ones that I started um, not too long ago, so they're going to take a while to catch up to those. These are more cucumbers. I'm trying some in the bucket. <clears throat> Over here I have, let's see, more Brussels sprouts. Another red Russian kale. That's a sunflower. That is probably a cabbage, I think. This is my rhubarb coming up really good in the bucket. This is my yarrow for my tea because I love yarrow tea. This is comfrey. Comfrey's really good for chop and drop. You can take it and use it as a mulch. I just figured I'd give it a shot and it's uh, turning out really good. Oh, looks like, I didn't even remember doing that. It looks like I snuck a, uh, a broccoli or something in there. Cool. These are my Egyptian walking onions. I've had these for a couple years now. I have a kale snuck in there. One snuck in there, and that's a cauliflower. Those are my 
raspberries. This is more broccoli, I believe. These are two more cauliflowers, and that's another red cabbage. This is my um, lettuce bucket. This stuff right here is amazing. I've never tried anything like it. This is uh, brown mustard kale, and it's got quite the spice to it. It's really good, so I like eating it just raw. What else do we have? We have an organic early girl, an ultra girl, tomatoes. This one is the orange chef's choice. These two are big boys, which is ironic because they're the smallest ones I have so far. This one is a beef steak, so that's going to be that's going to be a good slice of tomato. <clears throat> My wife wanted some flowers, so I picked her up some flowers. River blue, hydrangeas, hydrangeas. I don't, I don't know flowers. Well, that one's looking rough. I got, I snuck in a couple more red kale here, red Russian kale on this one, and I think another one here. Oh, there's another red Russian kale. More flowers to bring in the pollinators. Here I have. A row of those are Brussels sprouts, onions in between them, a couple cabbages. Over here, some bro or uh, cauliflower, some broccoli, another kale, and then I'm giving the Ruth Stout method a try. So we'll see how that turns out. I am. Um, Pretty excited about this one actually because it's a no dig method. I just took and I, I tilled the soil I put potatoes down and then I threw a foot of hay over top of them So I have I believe red Pontiacs and Yukon Golds, so we'll see how those turn out. We've got one two three Four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 13 of them popping up so far so we'll see uh, we'll see how that goes over here in the neighbor's yard the abandoned house I've got four zucchinis because me and the wife love zucchini so we'll see how that turns out the quail the rabbits my pretty girl out back here we're looking at I did plant a whole bunch of corn down here but none of it seems to have come up unless I'm looking at it right here I don't think that is so I think that's just grass so I think I thanks buddy I think I just wasted six bucks on corn seed but I do have some uh, sunflowers Sunflowers coming up here. That one's looking good. That's another good one. Two more there. This one there, there, there. That's a nice one. Oh, that one's big. <laughs> this is this is the first time I've been checking on them actually. So I maybe the corn will come up. I'm not sure. But anyways, so that's what I got in the backyard. Anyways, that's all I got for you today, so we'll see how the garden does in a couple of weeks, and I'll come back to you with an update. Thanks for watching, God bless, and stay safe out there.